And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northwest there. Are lots of sunshine today, 14 degrees. And you know, being April Fool's Day, I think the successful, the key to the successful nature of your April Fool's trick is to do it early in the day. I posted a parka weather forecast at about 4 a.m. this morning. So it kind of, you know, you get people while they're still a little foggy, haven't completely woken up yet, and that's when you surprise them. But uh, it wasn't completely untrue, and I'll tell you why in a minute. We got down to uh, minus 7 degrees at 7 a.m. We are currently at our daytime high of 14 degrees. All areas in southern Alberta enjoying this uh, burst of warm air that's going to get even warmer tomorrow. Right now the numbers for tomorrow in Lethbridge look like we'll be hitting 21 degrees for a daytime high. So very close to record criteria. We do have an area of high pressure here in southern BC and southern Alberta even into the central areas right now showing that area of high pressure. But you can already see see this incoming low pressure center that's already affecting areas in the Yukon and northern BC and we've got another one that's off screen that is working its way up from the south. We're watching these two systems as by Wednesday area of high pressure is going to collapse. Tuesday it's already collapsing in some of the other areas. You can see some mixed precipitation is going to be moving in to the higher elevations along the continental divide. Looks like for us late in the day tomorrow we'll start to see this cloud cover really thicken up and we have a chance of some shower developing late in the day tomorrow after we hit our daytime high of 21 but on Wednesday is when we have a chance of seeing some showers and some flurries minus two degrees in St. John's mixed bag of weather all up from Ontario through Quebec and through the Maritimes we've got some storm surge warnings very strong winds moving through the open areas so Georgian Bay and then in through the mouth of the St. Lawrence looking at some snow squall possibilities minus three in Winnipeg minus four in Regina minus three in Saskatoon uh, four degrees in Edmonton 15 on the coast and sunshine they had today in Vancouver and actually up north Yellowknife and Whitehorse both saw some sunny breaks today. Temperatures are not bad. Whitehorse is actually warmer than what Regina and Winnipeg are at this hour. East Kootenai looking at a few clouds tonight down to 5 degrees up to 18 tomorrow. Your late day showers are in your forecast for tomorrow but the bulk of the day will still be a sun and cloud mix. For the Crow's Nest Pass clear skies tonight down to 5 tomorrow sun and cloud mix. That late day shower development a possibility for you as well. Medicine Hat, uh, you're far enough away that you're not looking at showers tomorrow. 20 degrees for a daytime high for you in a southwest wind at about 20 kilometers per hour in the afternoon. For us here in Lethbridge, we're looking at uh, partly cloudy tonight. Our winds will kick in tonight and they'll stay with us tomorrow. 20, 21 degrees the expected high with that chance of late day shower activity uh, developing. And then as we head into Wednesday, that's when we see the cool down of temperatures. So for tomorrow, enjoy these mild temperatures. And as I said the bulk of the day will be a sun and cloud mix and then that chance of shower development late in the day. Wednesday it looks like we'll have a mix of shower and flurry activity. A few rays of sunshine, 3 degrees for a high. Bounce back up to 12 degrees on Thursday and then Friday we start to move into some low pressure that's moving in. It's when those two areas start to really collide in southern Alberta and giving us that chance of rain mixed with snow. There's our record highs for this week for you to take a look at and just remember especially on Friday is a system we're watching now. Periods of rain mixed with snow and a daytime high of two degrees but it is southern Alberta as people were saying on the Facebook page this morning when I posted the fake weather cast uh, anything can happen in southern Alberta but we'll keep that eye on that Friday system for you that's it for me have a good evening everyone get out and enjoy the weather Battles at the dinner table are a common scene as parents try to get their kids to try new foods. Now researchers say some kids may be genetically programmed to be picky eaters. Experts at the University of North Carolina, in North Carolina Chapel Hill studied more than 60 sets of twins and found in nearly two-thirds of cases genes were the reason some kids avoided new food. The researchers say an aversion to trying new foods is similar to a personality trait with some being more susceptible than others. However, they say that doesn't mean kids can be a little less picky. They encourage parents to repeatedly expose children to new food, give them options and lead by example. Ah.